Hey, I'm Josh, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate text like this with Unity and the Text Mesh Pro module. On your game object with a Text Mesh Pro text component, add a new script component and call it something like wobbly text. Add using TM Pro to the top of the file. Then make a public TMP text property called text component. Then drag the Text Mesh Pro component into that slot in the inspector. Text Mesh Pro works by creating one little four vertex mesh per character. So what we need to do is intercept those generated meshes and modify them. In the update method called text component dot force mesh update to make sure that the meshes used by Text Mesh Pro are up to date. Let's just store text component dot text info in a variable because we are going to use it a lot. Next, make a for loop where i goes from zero to text info dot character count minus one, like so. Grab the entry of textinfo.characterinfo at index i and store that because it's also going to be used a lot. And we'll skip any invisible characters by checking if charinfo.isvisible is false. Now, this isn't just one Unity Mesh instance per character we're talking about, but all the characters that share a given Unity material are combined into one mesh each. Each four consecutive vertices in this mesh represent an individual character. So next, grab the vertices from the mesh associated with the current character's material and put them in a variable called verts. Then make a loop where j goes from 0 to 3, one loop for each of the four vertices of the character. Let's store the current position of that vertex by indexing verts at charinfo.vertexindex plus j. Then overwrite that entry in the verts array with a modified version. What I've typed here is just an example, but feel free to copy it, I won't judge. The mesh info object acquired from textinfo.meshinfo actually contains two copies of the vertices, which you can think of as a draft copy and a working copy. So far, we have modified the draft copy, so we need to update the working copy to match. Loop over each entry of textinfo.meshinfo with i as the index and go meshinfo.mesh.vertices equals meshinfo.vertices. Then go textcomponent.updateGeometry with meshinfo and i as the arguments. And that's it, now we have wiggly text. There's pretty much no limit to what can be modified with this technique. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter pretty please, and like this video to keep me motivated.